Good evening, ham fans. I have something else today. No, it's not the same radio, although it is the same. It's a very similar box, so let's open it up and find out what we got this time. Ah, this one is the DM32. So the digital version of the UV32. So let's get it out of this box and have a look. So we first of all we have the booklet. Seems to go for a few things here. Yep, seems to be in English, so it'll be an interesting read to see whether or not it's it is helpful or not. Okay, here we go. We have the antenna. It's a bumpy long bit slightly chunkier one just like the last one, but on the UV32. Once again. We're sending us a little pouch, little bell pouch, nice. And the charger, what's that? Yeah. Got the charger again, uh, yep, USB C again. A charging unit, yeah, it's for TCUV32, so I'm guessing they're interchangeable between the two. Okay, the battery, I don't know if there's any difference on this battery. Okay, what have we got this time? This is a... Uh, okay, so it's the same battery, a BC32UV, 2,500 milliamps, sorry. Um, yep, so it's the same as... Oh, okay, I'm going to be destroying my uh, thumb again. Thumbnail. Okay, and the radio itself. So let's, uh, let's get this box out of the way again. So this is the radio itself. This is pretty much identical to the UV32 in its casing. And this one, however, is labelled a DM32. 7.4 volts. And this one only says... 136 to 174 and 400 to 480 so this seems to have a different range whether or not that's the case when we go through it it's a different matter ptt function number one function number two you got the channel change or the, the vfo frequency change on off on off you got the gps logo there i mean gps indicator there again and the antenna now what do we got on the side? Okay, so we've still got the standard K plug, so this looks pretty much identical so far, except for that one little bit on this stick here. So how about we just get this uh, battery plugged in and fired up? So here we go. Oh hold on, let's uh, make sure we put the antenna on first, just in case I press the transmit button by mistake. Get this off. Okay. Okay, let's get this plugged in. So once again, it's with this thing. So as I said before, I'm going to end up destroying my thumb again. My thumbnail. Okay. Oops, bit of a headbutt there on the camera. Okay, well, hopefully that's enough. It's not, it's, not, it's not plugged in all the way, but let's have a look. So. Eleven. Oh, okay. It takes a few seconds extra to boot up, but that'll be because it's a DMR radio. So let's uh, try that one more time. Okay, it's telling us 11, that's just basically, it must be talking about the channel freak channel it's on there, which is channel 11, so it's a slightly different screen looking here, uh, the voice was different. So let's have a quick look at the menu system here, it's getting late for me here tonight. Um, so let's have a look, we've got, so you've got the scan, the zone, the settings in the GNS, S. So you've got scan, you can scan switch. I'll have to look into what that means later on. 
you've got a scan list, you've got scans for CTCSS, and you've got scan for DCS, and you've got the scan memories, okay. Zones, always expect to find this in um, in DMR radios as a zone, although they are starting to show up more in um, just the dual band, <coughs> not even dual band, into the analog radios. We've got the settings, yeah, all those in there. We've got a GNSS again, which I'm guessing is probably exactly the same as before. It's on or off. Uh, okay, this one tells the actual the information. You've got a display format. You see, there seems to be a few extra bits here and there for the GPS side of things. Okay. And it goes back into settings again. Okay, so let's go back to settings. You've got radio settings. You've got the display the, and other functions. Oh, yeah, got a lot of things in here. Yeah, the power off and transmit, frequency steps. I'm guessing it starts at 2.5 again. Yep. Power save FM radio FM radio monitor, weather alarm. Not seen that before, not seen that before. Okay, so there's a few things in there we'll need to look up on, which I'm no doubt we'll do when I start playing with it. Uh, you got the channel sets where you can do it all in here, but as I say, I'm going to be doing on the CPS. Once again, Baofang, my guy Baofang, uh, the CPS, he sent it to me instantly, so I've been playing with that, although I didn't have the actual radio to play with it, but once again, this radio has been here just as long as the UV32 has. Just with various things, I haven't been able to do anything with it. Um, so you've got channel set, you've got device info. Which, so yeah, it's the radio, you call it whatever you want to call it. Then you've got a DMR ID. You can only get a DMR ID if you have a valid um, ham license. So, what else is there? Uh, channel set device information DTMF BDC 1200 two tone five tone Okay, so there's a lot of things in here That I haven't seen before and some things I have but um, anyway That is switching between hmm, Something on there don't know what that is though, but it's uh, it's receiving something. Anyway, I don't know if that's digital or analog. Oh, it's a digital. So there's something digital on there. Anyway, let's have a look. What else could we find? Oh, there's a call. Oh, because I'm on a digital channel now. It gives you all the extra um, APRS. Oh, interesting. APRS on here. Okay, so it's now showing me all the, the digital options because I'm on a digital channel at the minute. Um, so let's have a look on the side here. What does this button do? All right, okay. That's just FM radio. Let's turn it off. What does number two do? Oh, what is that? I wonder if that's some sort of monitoring again. I'll have to have a look at it once we got the uh, once we get it all up and running. But yeah, so ten. Whoop. Eleven. Battery high. <laughs> okay. Battery high. Battery high. Anyway. No manual dial. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's just the uh, DTMF. Okay, um, so that is the DM32 UV from Baofeng. So, once again, on this one, uh, next one I do on this one will be programming. I'm not too sure if I'll do the programming of both analog and digital at the same time. Because uh, digital is slightly more involved for those of you who haven't done it before. But uh, once you get the general gist of how it works, it's actually pretty simple. Anyway, 
Uh, it'll be a programming video next and um, usage and various things like that. So, have a good evening everybody, 7-3s, and I'll see you soon. Good night.